Welcome to Three Cups of Fun. My name is Zach Bain and I'll be your host. In this episode, we'll learn how to make delicious sweet and savory crepes from scratch and chocolate dipped strawberries. And now I'd like to introduce the other two cups of fun. To my right is my sister and sous chef Veronica Bain and next to her is my mom, Chef Nancy Bain. Thank you, Zach. I can't wait to share my sweet and savory crepe recipes that are both quick and easy to make. In this episode, we'll take you for a behind the scenes look at Bistro Maxine in Palo Alto, California, where they make you feel as if you stepped inside an authentic cafe in France and set a crepe Suzette literally on fire. Can I help? Make crepes? Of course, Veronica. Do you want to crack the eggs? Sure. Okay. So what we have here is we've already scaled out one cup of flour. And so we need two eggs. Okay, so the first recipe we're making is a savory crepe recipe. And so we're going to add in a little milk. Can you pour this for me while I'm mixing it? Mm -hmm. All right. Just go ahead and pour a little bit. Okay, stop. And then a little bit more. So you just want to use a whisk and incorporate the eggs with the flour and the milk. Okay, a little more, babe. Veronica. Thank you so much. Keep going. Add a girl. And you just want to mix it. Try to get all the lumps out if you can. All right. Okay, and then uh, for the savory crepes, we're just going to add a tablespoon of chives. Do you want to measure out the chives, Veronica? Sure. Just one tablespoon for me, please. So make sure to preheat your crepe pan. We have ours preheated right here. Go ahead and dump that in. Thank you. Okay, it's going to be super yummy. And we just need a pinch of salt. You want a pinch of salt from? There we go. Thank you. And uh, one tablespoon of melted butter. So dump that in there. Mix it up. There we go. Should look like that. So like I said, make sure your, your pan is preheated. And I just use a paper towel and just kind of swipe the oil around. Make sure you have it nicely, evenly, nice and evenly coated on your pan. There we go. Okay. And so we're just going to pour a little bit of the batter in the pan. About that much. And quickly just kind of swirl that around. looks delicious. It does. Just so you have a nice even coat on the bottom. There we go. And you just let it cook for about a minute. So the savory crepes we're going to make today are uh, filled with mushrooms, sauteed mushrooms, and the sausages. We have some chicken sausage today. And then I have a little bit of creme fraiche and some fresh spinach. That's your favorite sausage, right, Veronica? Yummy. Okay, so you want to just kind of lift it off the edge like that, all the way around. And then you want to get underneath. It should be golden brown on the bottom. Flip it. Ooh. Looks beautiful, right? It does. We make crepes all the time at home, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then let it cook for about 30 seconds. And then you just pick your favorite toppings or fillings. So you could do like, sometimes we'll get a rotisserie chicken, um, you know, whatever you want inside your savory crepe. So that looks about done. We're just going to put that on here. Like so. Okay. And then, uh, do you guys want to try this? Yeah, definitely. You can also uh, put some cheese in it. We have some Swiss cheese. And a little bit of spinach. Some mushrooms. And 
with some chicken sausage. Mm, delicious. And then you can just fold that over, sort of <laughs> like a, uh, almost like a taco or a burrito. <laughs> Ta-da. <laughs> and then uh, put a little creme fraiche on the side if you want it to dip your bite into that. I don't know if these guys like it. You guys want to try them? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Taste that. That'll be for Veronica. Okay. I don't like cheese. You can go ahead and taste that. I'm going to go ahead and make a batch of sweet crepes. Okay. Just eat it. I don't have a fork. All right, so sweet crepes, like very apple. similar recipe. Okay. Mm. We need a cup of flour, which I've already put in there, two eggs. I lost my sous chef. <laughs> it's okay, baby. Okay, so we've got two eggs in there. Whoop. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Someone kicked me. Okay, and then we're just going to measure out the milk. So we need uh, one and one quarter cups of milk. Very similar recipe to the savory crepes. All right. We have some vanilla here, some melted butter. I just popped that in the microwave. One tablespoon of melted butter. And let's see, we almost forgot our pinch of salt there. So we just want to whisk that. Do you want to pour the milk in again? Mm -hmm. this. Go ahead. Nice and slow. Incorporate that together. Okay. I usually just eat them plain with whipped, with, uh, not whipped cream, with uh, powdered sugar. <laughs> whipped cream. Sometimes. <laughs> Got whipped cream on the brain for some reason. Maybe from our last episode. Okay. So the sweet one, like I said, we're going to add a little vanilla, melted butter. and some sugar. So how much sugar did we say? We we're gonna put in two teaspoons of sugar. You wanna do that for me? Just put two teaspoons in here. Hold on, mix them in. Thank you. Okay, we're ready for crepe number two. A couple of different sweet crepes in mind for you guys. So for starters, I'm going to make a banana crepe with a caramel sauce. Yum. Just swirl it around in your pan. You really don't need any fancy tools or anything special. Just a frying pan will work. Just make sure you swirl that around and let it swirl around the edges. Okay, we're going to let that cook for about one minute. Okay. Spatula. What do you guys think? Did you try the crepe? Mm -hmm. It was really was good. It? Yeah. Really good. Good. What's your favorite thing about it? Sausage. Yeah, the sausage. Sausage. <laughs> I love sausage. <laughs> All right. The sausage and the mushrooms. Yeah. They go well together. They do go well together. Yeah. All right, I added spinach to make it a little more healthy. Do you like spinach, right, Veronica? Mm -hmm. All right, so like I said, you want to just kind of get under the edges all the way around. This is a little bit bigger than the last one. Let it cook a little bit longer. And then when you see the, the top part starting to dry out, that's when you know you're ready to flip it over. Similar to pancakes. Most people have made pancakes before, so pretty much like that, only thinner. Oops, and I just broke it. Okay, I'm 
just gonna cheat a little here. <laughs> Whoop. There we go. GB, golden brown, baby. Ooh, that smells good. Yeah, so then just a, another 30 seconds on the other side. And what do you guys want to fill it? We have, ooh, uh, ooh, ooh. I want to do the bananas with caramel sauce. It's so delicious. And then we have Nutella and strawberries. Oh, raspberries too. Oh, we have raspberries too. Yeah, raspberries are good. Okay. So I think we are ready. This is, you can just slide it onto your plate, right? Like that. Do you guys want to uh, start filling yep. that one? And I'm going to make one more. Okay. While you're doing that. Okay, just give it a quick mix. Pour it in. Can you bring it over mm -hmm. here? And swirl it around. Mm-mm-mm. Homemade crepes. Let that cook. Okay, how are we doing over here? Ooh, you've got uh, raspberries, Nutella, and caramel sauce. I thought you... Okay. No. Maybe we should add chocolate uh, sauce. The chocolate sauce, I think we need to heat that up a little more. <laughs> so um, <laughs> let's just do the Nutella and the caramel. And you can put whipped cream or powdered sugar or maybe a little bit of both. More caramel. It's snowing. All right. So still looking a little bit wet. So we're going to let it just sit and cook for another few seconds. Can we do the whipped cream? Sometimes we have to be patient. Put a strawberry in there. What's your favorite crepe, Veronica? Um, sweet or savory? Sweet. How about you, Zach? Sweet or savory? I'm trying to strawberry in there. Zach. <laughs> What's your favorite crepe, buddy? Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. We do like our sweets. We love dessert. We love crepes. Jeez. <laughs> Okay. Sweet We're almost there. This one's taking longer. <laughs> oh my God, giant giant strawberry I think it's a little bit thicker. <laughs> and this, oh my God. So just adjust the time depending on the thickness of your crepe. Might need a little more time. Wait to cook. a minute. How are we doing over here? We haven't tried it yet, but I'm gonna eat this side. Hey, wait, I'm gonna uh, eat this well, side. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to once again get around the edges. And it's great mm. to use a nonstick pan. And uh, even though it's nonstick, I, I still put just a little bit of cooking oil and spread it around with a paper towel. Especially for that first one, it might stick to your pan. That was so good. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Awesome. All right. And no, I didn't do it a little bit too much on the caramel. <laughs> okay. More to everything else. Are you cooking yet? This one is a little lighter, but it's still good. Still a little golden brown there. Okay, just give it a few seconds on that side, and then uh, I want to do a banana one. Veronica, can you cut up a banana for me, please? <laughs> These guys don't really like bananas, but I love bananas. And with caramel sauce and a crepe, with a little whipped cream. Yum. Okay, this is looking pretty good to go. I'm just gonna give it a little more time on the other side because it's still a little light. Uh, with a knife and let's see. Let's see. All right, we are going to chop up the banana. There we go. OK, can we just uh, scoop that onto there? Yeah. OK. All right, and then we're just going to put a little caramel sauce. Well, maybe a lot. <laughs> there we go. And 
Oops. All right, and some whipped cream. Delicious. Maybe a little on top. Okay, great. And so now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history of crepes. You guys want to know a little more history, right? I need to put my special glasses on for this. Great. Mais qu'est-ce qui se passe? Je parle français? Mais oui, bien sûr. C'est mes lunettes, je crois. Non, c'est drôle. Okay, seriously though. I lived in France as a child for two years while my parents worked in Paris. My dad was an engineer, my mom was a teacher. My brother and I quickly learned to speak French. So crepe is French for pancake and is derived from the Latin word crispus, meaning curled. They originated in a region of France that we call Brittany or Bretagne in French, which is the northwest region of France, and they were made out of buckwheat, which is gluten-free. I have friends who do not do gluten, so you can have a great buckwheat. So only in the last 100 years, when white wheat flour became affordable, did the white flour crepes come on the scene. Crepes were originally called galette, meaning flat cakes. The batter is spread with a tool known as a rozzle and then flipped with a spatula. In Brittany, crepes and galettes are traditionally served with cider, which is what I had at Bistro Maxime. On February 2nd, there is a holiday known as Fête de la Chandeleur, Fête de la Lumière, or Jour de Crêpes, celebrated in France, in which crepes are eaten in abundance. This holiday lands on the day after my birthday, and they actually serve grapes at school in class. Awesome. I know they were celebrating my birthday, really. Anyway, <laughs> we are gonna show you a great clip from, back, from Bistro Maxine right now. We're here at Bistro Maxine, and we're gonna take you behind the scenes to show you how grapes are made. Okay, let's go.
This is the chocolate flavor. Simple but delicious. and mushrooms. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, so bon appetit. We are ready to eat and we do not normally eat this much, but this looks so delicious today. I think we just might sample a little bit of everything. You guys ready to eat? No. <laughs> they are more than ready to eat. You let us know when we can eat and we will start. Okay, who doesn't love chocolate dipped strawberries? I love them. How about you guys? Do you mm -hmm. love them? Definitely. Oh my God, Definitely. yum. And we have some delicious, huge strawberries here. We're gonna do something a little cute and a little fancy for you. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're gonna start out by dipping them in some white chocolate. And you can do a lot of fun things with this. You can get creative with your design. And then we're gonna dip it in the darker chocolate and do just kind of a little design for you. Let's see. And there we go. We have like a little adorable tuxedo for you. Tuxedo strawberry. There's a lot of different things you can do though. You guys go ahead and have a turn, take a taste. You can do milk chocolate if you prefer milk chocolate. You just uh, microwave some chocolate pieces in the microwave, about 30 seconds, and then give it a stir, and another 30 seconds, depending on the heat of your microwave. And you just swirl it around the chocolate. You can just kind of wipe off the bottom of it, stick it on the plate. And then we can also decorate. 
my drizzle. Just drizzle on a, a pattern or whatever design you want to make. Okay, do a little stripe. Okay, and what else can we do? We can do a dark chocolate with a white stripe. So easy to make at home. It's just a quick thing in the microwave. Use fresh, delicious strawberries. Stick them on a plate to set. It's that simple. Okay. That's not wanting to drizzle too much. All right. So that's basically it. That one got a little messy. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we sure enjoyed having you guys with us today. We enjoyed our show. I just want to thank our sponsors, the International Culinary Center and Piazza's Fine Foods. This show is made possible because of your generous sponsorship. Thank you, thank you. Also, thanks to Bistro Maxime for allowing us to film in their restaurant. And of course, our viewers like you. We'll see you next time. Oh, that's right. We enjoyed sharing our recipes for grapes and showing you how to make decadent chocolate dipped strawberries at home. Please like our Facebook page, www.3cupsoffun, or facebook.com slash 3cupsoffun, and feel free to post your comments and suggestions. Until next time, I'm Zach Bain with 3 Cups of Fun.